Hi Sagittarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week from Monday to Monday of July the 13th to July the 20th. Again, I thank you for tuning into my channel and it's all your interest interest in these videos and your loyalty that keeps me coming out here every week. All the subscriptions and the readings that I'm getting in because you trust my readings and send me beautiful, beautiful, kind and supportive comments about these videos and also testimonials on my private readings with you. I am truly blessed and I thank you for this. We start our week get Sagittarius with a water card and this particular water card you've been given is the seven of water and it's telling me that some of you right now are dealing with decisions a decision in your life that they refer to as being a complex decision and it's saying that you need to stop procrastinating about making this decision and dragging your heels and uh, um, not wanting to do it and being hesitant because all you have to do is do your research and once you do this decision is going to be easy for you to make. On Tuesday, Five of Water. This is telling me that uh, those of you that are in a relationship right now, uh, it's saying that it's like um, things. you think that things are not turning out the way that you had hoped. Uh, and perhaps they're not, and they haven't. But um, you're not seeing any positive in a situation you're dealing with right now. And it could be a relationship situation or just a particular situation um, in your life right now. Um, and I call these my romance cards, but they can have to do with uh, issues with your children, opening your heart to feelings that you have around you, um, and the depths of our intuitive psychic gifts that we have. You are seeing a situation right now that is not turning in, out in your favor and you can't even see any positive part of it and they're referring to it as crying over spilt milk so there's always a positive in every situation if you sit and think about it hard enough there's always some little bit of positiveness you could pull out of a very negative situation that is going on in your life so I tell people you know how easy it is to get rid of spilt milk wipe it away my friend gone on Wednesday, you've been given a great card here. It is the Two of Fire. And this particular card says that you've come into your own. Some of you have been working very hard towards an endeavor. And uh, maybe you've been dealing with issues in your life that have caused you to lack confidence and, and, uh, and not be able to see things the way you should. But now, all of a sudden, the tables have turned. And things are working out in your, own, in your favor. And it's showing the that some of you are dealing with the signing of contracts and partnerships and it will be a move forward for you. Six of Earth for Thursday. This talks about gifts coming into some of you. These gifts may be for some of you in the form of money and others that may be in the form of time and others that may be in the form of effort. But needless to say, some of you are going to be receiving a gift of some sort coming into you. It also refers to a uh, career and a new opportunity coming into a new career right now. New career opportunities coming in for some of you. Perhaps you've been out there looking and applying and wanting this job or, and it's coming. Or perhaps you are already in a profession and you've been wanting to enhance that and advance that. And it is going to be a new career opportunity for you. Some of you will be receiving a loan or money coming in uh, from that type of resource uh, because you've applied for a loan and they're referring to it that if you have, you will be receiving that loan. For others, you may be diligently been paying off a debt or a loan and they say that you will be uh, paying that off. And Friday, you've been given a great card, my friend. And this particular card is the wheel. And this card refers to changes that are occurring right now around some of your lives. And, and uh, whether they're big or small, these changes are going to work out well for you. And it's going to lift any old blocks that have been stopping you from moving forward. Um, it also refers to this as rapid advancement right now, likely. It's a good card. It's a good card of fortune. It's a good card that fortune's on your side, a good card of karma and good luck and a twist of fate and destiny and miracles, my friends. On Saturday, you've been given another Earth card, and this is the Three of Earth. And this is talking about, and this card's been coming up a, long, a lot in these readings, 
apparently <clears throat> this is a week for everybody to be dealing with the justice system or our places of employment. Excuse me. And this talks about recognition for very high quality work that some of you have been working on and putting out at your place of employment and in your career part of your life. And they're saying that you're going to get recognition for this high quality work because number one, they refer to you as being an extremely great team player. <clears throat> Sunday, my friend, <coughs> an air card. And this is the queen of air. Again, I tell people that the air cards are all about the justice system and communications and perhaps the legal system that some of you have been dealing with in your life right now. And it's all about a decision that you're going to have to make. <coughs> and they refer to this decision as being, making it optimistically, or pardon me, making it at an objective decision in your life because they're showing me that you're going to clear away <coughs> absolutely everything that doesn't serve you anymore. You're going to move in a new direction. You're, you're going to push the chaos away, whether it's <coughs> physical, whether it's people, whether it's the situation and the karma around you, you're pushing it away because you realize now it doesn't serve you anymore and serve you any benefit. You're going to be seeing, you're going to be doing this and with this situation, you're going to be almost sitting back and smiling about it and saying, why didn't I do this a long time ago? And you're going to see the humor in it because it was such an easy decision for you to make. Get rid of all that stuff that doesn't serve you anymore, if it doesn't bring you any benefit. <clears throat> now, great card. This is the card they brought up for you for the end of this week. And this is that one oracle card that ties in this entire reading. This is all about the support system that all of us have around us. Whether we physically go and we find and we seek help from professionals with an issue that we're dealing with in our life. But the other meaning of this card is know that you always have support. I deal with <clears throat> only the the angel cards and the oracle cards because they spoke to me. I had many decks I could have chosen from and I have given those away to others out there that are gifted as well because I had to pick the cards that picked me and these are the cards that chose me were these angel cards and this is about the support that your divine angel give you. They're around all of us. All you have to do is listen to the signs, watch for the signs, ask for the help and you will get the the help. I talk about this all the time. What we project into the universe, it bounces back to us. So make sure it's positive and it's light and it's what you truly, truly want. And again, be careful what you ask for. I hope that this reading brought you some benefit into your week <clears throat> and some interest into your week. And I thank you again for that. And if you should desire a reading with me, my website is www.brendatarrow, spelled T-A-R-O dot info. That's www.brendatarrow info. Hope to see you soon for reading Sagittarius and for the new ones coming in to me. <clears throat> Again, I chose a quote to leave you with. And this particular quote is, life is about balance. Be kind, but don't let people abuse you. Trust, but don't be deceived. Be content but never stop improving yourself, Sagittarius. We all need to follow this rule. I hope you have a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, Sagittarius. And know that I'll see you again next week and that I continue to stand in the circle of life for you.